Hi there, this is Jason Dunn from Smartphone Thoughts and this is an unboxing and first impressions video of the T-Mobile Shadow, which is the device, or the box rather, you see in front of you here. Now the T-Mobile Shadow has been out in the market for about six to eight months, so it's not a brand new phone, but uh, this was actually my first chance to really get a close look at the Shadow and so I thought I'd give you my first impressions of it since it's still an active phone, you know, being sold on the market today. So we will start with the box. Uh, this is a, a, you know, again, it's a T-Mobile device, but it has, you know, very similar packaging uh, to HTC devices. You have the nice metallic, uh, sorry, magnetic enclosure here. Uh, I'm going to take the device out. So this is the, uh, this is the shadow. So it's a, it's, um, it's a little bit thick compared to some devices, but it definitely feels really good in the hand. Uh, T-Mobile and, uh, you know, HTC went for a very specific, you know, design and the uh, color scheme here. It's sort of a bronze kind of coppery color. Uh, one of the cool things about this device is that it has a sliding keyboard that actually pops out the bottom. So it's sort of, you know, it gives you a nice big screen when you're using it in day to day. Uh, it's not a touchscreen device. So this is a Windows Mobile standard uh, smartphone. But when you want to be able to, you know, use uh, the keyboard or whatever, uh, you can open this up. Now, this isn't a QWERTY keyboard. This is just a regular, uh, you know, T9 uh, kind of phone style keyboard. We're going to set that aside for just a second and we'll see what else is in the, is in the, uh, the box here. What do we have? We have the, uh, the battery. Uh, so this is... Uh, a 920 milliamp battery, so not not bad. It's not it's not big. It's not small. It's kind of you know in the middle. I would love to have seen a, a bigger battery. Uh, you know, I love my phones to last as long as possible, like most people. So it would have been cool to see a uh, slightly bigger battery in here. I'm gonna just uh, pop the battery inside. Actually, I'll just take a quick peek under the battery here and see if there's anything interesting worth noting. There's a place to put in the, uh, the SIM card there and that's really about it. The, uh, the micro SD card slot is actually here on the side. So you can actually, uh, what do you do here? Yeah, you get exactly, you get your fingernail underneath and then you put the micro SD card slot in there. Um, it supports uh, SDHC micro SD card. So that means for the moment you can very easily get up to eight gigabytes worth of storage, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the device on. Uh, this is the power button uh, down here in the lower right hand corner. Uh, so uh, you can also use this for uh, hanging up, hang up phone calls. And this is the green button for starting. We have the home button, the back button, and then the two soft keys. And so these are used to uh, navigate around. And then the other kind of cool thing is that this is actually a, uh, a rotating uh, control pad, but that also works as a regular D-pad because you can press it in all directions, but also rotate it. And then the button in the middle is the action button. So we're just going to set that down here just for a moment. We're going to continue to let it boot up here. Um, this is a, uh, an adapter uh, that, that you get with the device. And what it does is, is, is it takes this, this uh, charging port here. There's really only one port on the Shadow, which is this thing here. And it's, it's essentially, it's a mini USB port. Um, but there is actually no, no headphone jack uh, on, on the device. So the only way that you can get audio, you know, is to actually plug, plug your headphones in here. But of course, if you want to plug your headphones in and you need to charge it, you're in a bit of a bind. And then that's when this adapter comes in handy. So you plug it into the phone and then you get the ability to uh, run, you know, two devices here, one for charging and uh, one for audio. So this is the uh, power adapter. Nothing special here. It's just simply a, a mini USB. It's cool to see, uh, you know, companies using mini USB though, because there's so many different ways to charge it up. This is a, uh, just a, simply a USB to mini USB sync cable. Nothing special there. We have uh, a pair of headphones, again, with this little, uh, you know, mini USB style connector. My particular gripe with this approach is that, you know, all the good headphones out there, they're all using the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And I just really, really wish that um, companies you know, we just sort of accept that that's the standard. And I know there are some disadvantages in terms of, you know, the headphones wearing out or whatever, but it would just be really great if, you know, as a user, I wouldn't have to carry around these stupid little adapters to try to get my, my, my headphones working with them. That, that's kind of what I wish. Um, so this is the uh, slip case, nothing, nothing special. It's got a uh, magnetic clasp. It's got a uh, straight ahead, uh, you know, belt clip here. You just simply take the phone, slip it in and away you go. So nothing too exciting there. Let's see if there's anything else in the box here worth looking at. We have uh, the uh, T-Mobile Shadow, Shadow Book. So if you're the reading type, there's a lot of information here. There's a trial key for uh, Microsoft Office Outlook 2007. That's a trial, this is not a full version. So you actually do not get 
um, a full version of, of uh, Outlook with this phone. And that kind of brings me to a, a minor you know, rant. Um, manufacturers have actually stopped including uh, Outlook with their, with their phones. Um, but you know, there's um, there's no way to sync, like say with Windows Vista, uh, with uh, you know uh, Windows Mail or the Windows Calendar app or the Windows Contact application. So there's actually no no good out of box you know scenario where the user can actually uh, take their phone and sync it with what's on what is on their desktop computer. You know, so they actually have to go out and buy Office, which for a lot of people is going to be overkill, or you know they're going to get Outlook 2007. So let's continue to take a walk uh, through this um, particular phone. I'll get a couple of these things out of the way, less distraction. So uh, down at the bottom here, there's nothing really special. We have a, uh, we have a lanyard uh, loop here. There's a, a button here uh, for the camera. The camera is on the back. It's a two megapixel camera. Uh, there is no flash, so something to be aware of. Uh, there's, a, there's a button up here uh, that uh, acts as a, a volume button. There's nothing really on the top, and then on the sides we have uh, two, you know, um, up, up, down controls. So uh, you can use that to uh, control the uh, control the overall volume. Although, the, although this this particular model doesn't actually um, allow you to do what most normal phones will do. You know, where you press down on the volume, your expectation would be that this would actually go into uh, you know vibrate mode or something like that. It actually does not do that, which is a little bit bizarre. But that's just kind of the way Windows Mobile works. I'm going to hit done here. I think actually, yeah. So this is actually the uh, the voice command button. So when I press that, there's a little icon up in the top corner here that looks like a microphone. Now I'm going to uh, slide this open here so you can take a look at the keyboard again. Now one of the neat things about the way that this phone works is uh, the user interface uh, allows you um, to have this kind of sliding effects. I'm going to get a little bit closer here so you can just kind of uh, check it out. But what, what this allows you to do is um, this allows you to start off, you know, you got the phone, you got the time, but from the start screen you can actually move through your text messages, picture messages, voice, you know, and email. And what this means is that you can actually access a whole bunch of information uh, directly from the home screen. You know, so this is the, the customized T-Mobile stuff here. Uh, you can go through music, you can play all your songs, you know, directly from the start screen. Uh, in the photos here, this actually allows you to, to browse through the photos. This are just the, these are the default photos that uh, T-Mobile included. But this is, uh, again, it, I think it's really, really neat. It, uh, it allows some of the, uh, the depth of functionality that Windows Mobile has to be uh, exposed to the user in a more intelligent way. And then right from the home screen, you can you know, manage your memory, the battery, and uh, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, yeah, so there's actually a change ringtone. So I can press this and uh, go into the uh, ringtone function. As you can see, it's not, it's not exactly uh, super snappy in terms of performance. Um, it has a, uh, Actually, what does it have for the CPU? I'm looking at the spec sheet here and I'm not actually seeing it. I'm going to guess and assume it's like a 200 megahertz OMAP processor because that's what a lot of these phones have. Let me rattle off some of the other specifications. It weighs in at uh, 5.29 ounces. It's got a backlit uh, keypad, uh, Bluetooth uh, 2.0. It's got a 16 bit uh, 240 by 320 uh, screen. It has, um, like I said, the 920 milliamp battery. Talk time is up to five hours. Standby time is about 160 hours, so not bad. It has 256 megabytes of uh, ROM storage. It has 120 meg 128 megabytes of RAM and then the uh, micro SD. Now I should point out the 128 megs of RAM is great because there's a lot of phones on the market that actually only have 64 megabytes of RAM, uh, Windows Mobile standard smartphones. And those phones tend to get bogged down. So with 128 megs of RAM, this phone's gonna be a lot more functional. It's got a built-in speakerphone, uh, the aforementioned two megapixel camera, and that is about it for the uh, specifications. So that's been my quick look at this device. Um, I've used it a little bit. I'm actually going to switch over from my, uh, my T-Mobile dash, and I'm going to use this particular device uh, you know, for a couple weeks and see if I like it. I'm a big fan of QWERTY keyboards, so I may not like this device all that much, but I am going to give it a fair shake. I do know that for some people, you know, they, uh, they really enjoy having the, uh, the sliding keypad. So, this has been Jason Dunn for Smartphone Thoughts. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, rate the video, post a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.